We started the driving exam in Bad Soden in the underground car park because we finished before a motorcycle exam and we needed to bring back the motorcycle. That's why I asked the student to start the exam in the underground car park. So we met there. We were leaving the private property, he watched out, a bicycle was coming and then uh, by law we had to turn right. So he was checking the left side and as it was free we were entering the main road of Bad Soden am Taunus. So this is exam video number five. No, it's number six. This is video number six. So you probably already know the streets, even even if you are not from the Maintaunuskreis area. And if you are from the Maintaunuskreis area, you will know the streets for sure. The traffic light turned green and we could go on driving on the main road. So we needed to change a little bit to the left side because we wanted to go straight and behind the intersection we moved back to the right side because there's only one lane going straight. The examiner said, please turn right at the traffic lights. So the student let someone out of the parking space. Partnership, that's very good. And then he prepared to turn right. The waiting time is always the preparation time, so we just need to prepare what's coming from behind on the right side. We can check in the right mirror and what will be on the right side behind our turn because the pedestrians will have green light. So on the right side, there's no one moving. On the left side, there's someone coming with the dog and he was waiting, but she let him go. Everything clear and we could go on. Perfect. Obstacle on the right side and oncoming traffic, so we needed to wait. And then we could go on. Then we have a pedestrian crossing, both sides not very well to see, but both sides clear. Please turn right. From here you can see that it's a walking speed area where we enter. The speed limit is 4 to 7. So it must be less than 10. And all pedestrians have the priority. If someone wants to cross, we need to stop and let them go. <laughs> yeah, that happens in traffic. And if you then do not check your mirror and your blind spot before you go around an obstacle, you're involved in an accident. We are back in 30 area. The right side is free. No parked cars on the streets. 
they are all on the pavement and here it's allowed to park on the pavement you can see by the sign here on the right side that you can put your complete car on the pavement so we have the obstacle on the right side oncoming traffic is there check mirror indicator blind spot and going on Please turn right. You see the stop sign. You see the stop line. So you stop over here. Wait for the crossing traffic. What did I say? Please turn right. I think please turn left is the right direction. Yes, it was. Please turn right. Uh, left. <laughs> I'm a driving instructor, so I don't know the difference between left and right. Because if I say, please turn left, my students turn right and the opposite, uh, I don't know. But I always say, right is where your instructor is sitting because he is always right. So park car over here, check it and uh, one more. Yeah, it's better. Always remember, it's your 55 minutes of exam. Do not waste it. Do not uh, take a risk. Only if you are sure that you can go on, then you go on. Another car was overtaking us. It was day of overtaking cars in bad situations. But if you properly check mirror and blind spot, you can avoid accidents even if it's not your fault or especially if it's not your fault if you are a smart driver you can avoid accidents in the roundabout we take the first Exit, please. And behind the roundabout, there was the 30 sign. And here behind the traffic light, is the 50 sign uh, yeah you barely could see it under the tree so we are here back at the speed limit 50 At the traffic lights, please turn right. Traffic light was jumping. He could see it and we braked. Now we are outside the city and they don't want us to drive 100. That's why we got the 60 sign. So the maximum speed here is 60. Uh, 
at the traffic lights please go on straight and even if the examiner doesn't say where we go you just find your lane to go straight easy to do So we have the priority street from the right side people are coming and they have an acceleration lane but they have to integrate into our lane you see the car braking and he decided to go to the left side behind our car so he took care about the priority and we could just go on driving 60 here The examiner said, please turn right to Liederbach direction. Here's the direction board we started indicating. But do not reduce the speed here on the, on the road which is going straight. Move all four wheels to the right side like he did and now break down to the speed needed for the curve which is here probably around 30. We enter the city of Liederbach, which is um, the next uh, city uh, next to Bad Soden am Taunus. We enter a 30 zone and it's not right before left rule here, it's giveaway sign. Please turn left. So checking both sides, left and right side, free blind spot turn here everyone is hesitating but there's a one-way street going away from our street no additional sign that there could uh, come out bicycles for example and that's why we just can go on there without uh, doing major checks On the right side we have the obstacle, we start with mirror indicator and we needed to stop and to wait for the oncoming traffic. Mirror, blind spot and starting the process. Behind the last parked car we need to move back to the right side because the right side has the priority and they need to come around us before we drive away. That's why it's very important to move back to the right side behind the last parked car for the right before left situation. Please turn right the next street. Very narrow street, 
We need to check that no one is coming out of that street. But it was clear. So we could drive in. Because the obstacle the obstacles are clearly on our side. And right before left rule, the people coming out of the street have the priority. That's why we cannot just turn in as we want. Now turn right please. Moving back to the right side behind the last parked car. Checking the right side, car is coming, no car coming, blind spot and turn. Obstacle on the right side, mirror, indicator, blind spot, passing. So we have to turn right because of the blue sign and we see the no entry signs on the other side. The student did not ask where we go because it's um, it's clear by law that we have to turn right. We want to do the reverse parking exercise. Please stop uh, next to the Mercedes and park reverse right behind it. Reverse gear in and we start the rolling process really nice and slow. A little bit straight then check around that no one is moving on the left side that no one is passing us then we can move it full right and that's always a little bit fortune how the car is going in if we already hit the curbstone we need to make correction forward right but did you see before how big this spot was it was huge even with a truck you can do the parking process easily so do not um, drive too close to the front car because it doesn't make sense But I think if you once lost your plan how to park <laughs> in the exam especially, you are screwed up. The examiner said uh, you also have the chance to start from the beginning. And that was a good idea. The student was uh, replacing the car in the, into the beginning position and he started again. And he learned with his first movement that he was way too close to the silver Mercedes or a golden Mercedes. And uh, that's why he did it now a little bit better in the second attempt. But I think it was the curbstone again and we needed to do a little bit correction. And anyhow, we were starving into the parking spot. <laughs> Not clean. You see, reverse right and forward right for making correction. I just want to mention that this is not the way how he learned it in my lesson. That was freestyle. And as an instructor, you are dying in that moment. <laughs> you really don't know what your student is doing. But after wasting half of the fuel, 
we were done. This exercise was not done properly. It was not clean. But we were inside the spot. Please go on driving if we have enough fuel. <laughs> he was concentrated enough to see the no entry sign, so he asked left or right. And the examiner said, please turn left. Moving back to the right side behind the last parked car. Oncoming traffic has the priority and the right street. So you are waiting for the oncoming traffic. Right street is free, blind spot and turn left. Another street from the right side, we slow down, we see, see the sign combination, one way street and additional sign bicycles are allowed to come out and it's right, be right before left rule for the bicycles coming out. Obstacle, mirror blinker, blind spot, passing the parked cars. Hurry up a little bit, other cars coming and we made it, but he could have been a little bit faster. That was not the full 30. We need it. Please turn right. And here he again saw the no entry signs. What should I do? Turn around? Yes, please turn around. And how do I tell my students to turn around if there's no roundabout, like here, there's no roundabout. Using private property or streets, reverse right, not forward left. Because forward left, you always block the entire street and it takes longer than necessary. And on the right side, as you probably remember, or if you see here, where um, some uh, spots left between the trailer and the parked cars. So just stop on the right side with indicator right. Check that the street is clear. And then you move reverse right in front of the garage gate. And then you move out forward left. Look how long this takes and how long the street is blocked. It's not a very big problem, but you get stressed if people are waiting for you and you, you know that the people are waiting for you. So this is uh, this stress you can really avoid by thinking about how to turn the car around properly. And I always recommend do it reverse right. Now he remembered. Yeah, I always heard <laughs> move reverse right. And as you can see, the forward left movement was absolutely useless. We did not need it. Indicator left and driving quickly away that we don't remember that situation. It was not clean. Please turn right. And we have a priority street. We can just go on here. We were coming from the right side, by the way. And then turn left, please. We approach to a giveaway sign. That means the crossing street has the priority left and right side. 
and because we are turning left also the oncoming traffic has the priority left and right street was free front car was coming he was <clears throat> seeing him approaching over the little hill and then it was clear to go we were moving out of the city of Liederbach on the left side you can see end of city of Liederbach which means speed limit 100 but not healthy eating for the right curve and behind the right curve we have the 60 sign you can see it on the right side and we wanted to stay here because we needed to go to highway direction and by belonging to the direction board it was the right lane so we're indicating right slowing down the car for the turn and we have giveaway sign at the island but no one coming so we could drive out a motorway which is similar to a highway if you see that sign you can prepare just how to enter a highway so we have two lanes from the left side with priority street we have the giveaway sign and an acceleration lane so indicate left accelerate hard the shorter it is the harder you need to accelerate blind spot and we were moving out now the speed limit is uh, not written so it's the recommended speed of 130 here it would also be able uh, uh, be possible to drive 140, 150, 160, whatever. Now we have the 100 speed limit. Construction uh, is predicted. Here's 80. You have to slow down a little bit for the construction. And we will have yellow lines on the ground because we could already see the uh, slide of the lanes on the sign before it, on the construction signs. And there we have it, the yellow lines. Please always follow the yellow lines because they have more priority compared to the white lines. Please go on to Highway Wiesbaden direction. We have three direction boards over the, uh, over the lanes and only the right one says Wiesbaden Highway. So we were moving to the right lane, slowing down to 50 speed limit and preparing in the brain how to enter a highway. But that's not very difficult because we just did it on the motorway here on the B8. Now we have the official Autobahn sign. German Autobahn. Here's the last right curve before we are parallel to the highway, so indicate left, stay on the right side and accelerate to that speed that the right lane is driving. And this is clearly, yeah, 
truck speed and he was moving out center lane was free and we were overtaking the truck as well i would probably do this uh, a little slower with the entrance to the highway and uh, changing to the center lane here he was checking carefully that it was free but it's very stressy for everyone inside the car especially for me what do we do behind the truck yes we need to change the right side after we have overtaken him and then we take the next exit to Hofheim direction Here is the 1000 meter sign. Your speed should uh, regulate around 110, 105, but not less than 100. At 500 meter sign, you can smile, do nothing, just go on driving. At 300 meter sign, we start indicating right for the exit. Here it is, indicate right keep the speed as good as possible stay over 100 change early as soon as possible and if you're inside break down to the curve speed 50 to 60 is very often a good speed for the first curve please go on right to hofheim direction Traffic light is switched off, we have an own lane, we have a giveaway sign, we have a main road on the left side and indicate left, accelerate, check it, blind spot and changing, very late. Perfect. Using the acceleration lane to the end. Then you have the most time to check everything and to integrate into the main road. Here you can buy some strawberries on the right side, but we did not do it in the exam. We've never run, done that in the exam. <laughs> Only beer. No, also not. Green traffic light, we are going on towards Hofheim. And again, strawberries <laughs> on the right side. And here we have the 60 sign, 
and then we have the beginning of the city sign on the right side the yellow one and green traffic light speed limit is 50 broad street no problems here Then we want to turn right, please. We enter a 30 zone, which means right before left. You should already know that, right? And turn right again. Here's a river market, so sometimes many pedestrians walking there. He drives into the right street slowly because the right side uh, was blocked by parked cars, so we need to check if there's someone coming from the right side, which is not visible before we turn in. And then please turn left. Now look what is important while we approach. Oncoming traffic is okay. Left side a white car is parked very close to the intersection and right side is a one way street but bicycles can come out. So right before left for the right side oncoming traffic and if someone is coming out of the left street there's no space if we turn left at the same time. So that's why he checked before we drive, uh, we, we drove into the street and if someone is coming from the left side, we just need to let him go. We have to show with our hand and let him go. We give them the priority. We will not drive. Right before left, nobody there going on straight. And from here you can see again a no entry sign or you can see two no entry signs. Please turn left. Yes, as a left turner and as a right turner you have to wait for people, for pedestrians and bicycles going straight. And there was a man on the left side and he waited for him. He walked over it. And now we can go. Please turn right the next street. Nobody there going on. And at the end, we want to turn left, please. And the left street is a dead end. What is the examiner doing? Yes, because the parking process and the turnaround at the first time was not so clean. He wanted to see it again, so he was sending him into a dead end and asked him, please turn around. And regularly in this dead end, there are many construction vehicles. But today, <laughs> there was no one because the construction is over and the student has chosen the level one of turnaround without reverse gear. He was just making a U-turn without reversing the car. That was good for him. 
right before left, nobody there, going on. Narrow street. And it started raining for the last minutes of the exam. It started raining. But the wiper switch was already switched on the sensor mode, on the automatic wiper mode. So the sensor, the wiper will start automatically. Please turn left the next street. So now it's a little bit narrow. So he was slowing down, bringing the car clearly to the right side of his road, checking oncoming traffic, no one there. Pedestrian is walking there. Right side, no one. He was waiting for the pedestrian and we could go on driving and then we wanted to go straight oh that's fast Ooh. at the very last moment the student braked my feet were already moving to the pedals that was so late ah but i didn't touch the pedals otherwise we have that not nice beeping signal inside the car and then the exam is over but he barely made it to break on his own. Then please go straight. Do not follow the priority to the right side. Please go straight. And then turn right, please. No, left. <laughs> left. And left again into the private property on the left side. And then just place the car on a parking spot. And this was a barely passed driving exam. That was really, really close because it was not clean with the parking and it was not clean with the turnaround and the last right before left was very, very late with the reaction. That's why it was passed, but barely passed. Congratulations anyway.